Welcome to the Lumit Audio Quick Start Tutorial for PCs. After installing Lumit and setting it up, the first thing you would see is an empty project like this. And if this is not the case, you can always make one by clicking on File and New. First thing I would do in a new project is set up the BPM. For this tutorial we are choosing 128 beats per minute, as this is the most common house music BPM. You can choose any BPM you want in this box located in the transport bar. Notice on the left you have folders where you can choose bass drums, FX, hi-hats and so on. It's called the file browser. By clicking on those folders you can choose a variation of instruments from inside of them. For this example let's choose a nice bass drum. Click on the bass drum folder and you can choose any of the countless bass drums inside of that folder. Notice that you automatically get to audition a sound by just clicking on it. I will just drag this kick drum into the empty field of the sequencer and the new audio track will be created for me. Let's make this kick drum follow a one quarter beat. To duplicate this sample I'm just going to use the shortcut Ctrl D. Now we have the kick drum, let's add some bass to that. I like to use Massive for the purpose. I just drag Massive into the empty field of the sequencer and a new MIDI track will be created for me. I'll make a new MIDI block, so I can write notes in it. You can do that by using the draw tool and its shortcut is D. We can write one quarter notes. I'll just set up the envelope. Now we can see they are colliding. Let's use some sidechain compression on the bass. I'll just use the kick drum as a sidechain input. Now we have that pumping effect we are used to in EDM. Let's add a snare or a clap. As I can hear it has some pre-delay, I'll just disable the snap and try to align it manually with the kick drum. To switch between the mixer and the sequencer, you can just click tab on your keyboard since that is the shortcut to toggle between them. Let's add hi-hats to this. As you see I can just drag the one I like and a new channel will be created for me. Now we'll add some percussion. Again I just drag it in. Now this percussion sample doesn't really have a neat start. I can move the left crop marker to fix that. I just have to disable snap, line it up. And now that's all better. Let's hear how that sounds. Lastly, this is how you export your beat in a stereo file. Just click file, export loop. Choose the options you like, click OK. Now you can browse and rename the file you're gonna export and just click save. Thank you for looking at this quick start guide. For a more detailed explanation or video on the features of Lumit, please go to our YouTube channel or the support page on lumitaudio.com. Have fun making music in Lumit.